Right. Uh, right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the fifth seminar. Uh, so uh, today's speaker is Professor Katya Khan from um, uh, uh, the Faculty of Business and Information Technology at Ontario Tech University in Canada. It's a pleasure to have him here today. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, Patrick is a professor in the in the Department of Computer Science and also the director of the graduate program and the international programs uh, uh, at the Faculty of Business and Information Technology. So yeah, it's a pleasure to have you here today, and uh, yeah, looking forward to the talk. Okay. Um. Okay. First of all, I'll make sure the people online they can hear me, right? Um. You, you can ask them on chat box and if they can. I right. got it. And got it. 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 Okay, um, first of all, um, thank you so much for coming to my talk today. And um, um, so um, I, I'm now currently staying at the uh, Abate University in Dundee for a research visit. And uh, I'm also, um, yes, and also, you know, that um, I'm talking about the topic about the even robot interactions, but I, I, I should confess, I'm pretty new to this area, even though I'm a professor, good professor, but I'm still new because uh, as what I told them before, before the, after the lunch, I said, you know, um, I just started moving this direction like eight years ago. When I start with a Hello Barbie, a Barbie doll who can talk. And then we study about the privacy issue with children with Hello Barbie doll <laughs> who can talk all night. And, and, and then uh, actually before my background is from security privacy and also from the web services cloud computing. And that's why we, we, we start the uh, RGB committee about service computing. I was one of the founder. And then uh, as I told them before, as I, uh, we, we we saw all the politics in actually uh publication society anyway so but today i just want to tell you what we have done and what we are doing and what we will do and hopefully can receive some feedback from everyone and please feel free to to, to give us some comment feedback whatever you say okay you do something stupid please tell me friendly okay don't be polite don't be shy okay please do that and um so this is my team and um I, i'm not everyone doing ro robots uh, about half, the half that's still doing my old business, <laughs> those things uh, about about the agent system, security privacy, those those stuff, and um and then what happened is um I in North America, I've been com comparing the UK so far, I think the UK uh, almost every campus I visit, you have a group of people working on human robot interactions or social robots. Like two days ago, I was in the in, in the in the national podium, right? The one in the he uh, what university, right? And we have a workshop there to discuss about the idea. And in Canada, if you went to go to Canada, like you, <laughs> you will find that only a less than 10 groups, I would say, that the whole country. <laughs> you know, in Canada, Canada is large, right? The country, the land is large, but only have about 36 million people, the entire country. So that's why it's no people almost. You spread out people, even you don't see each other. And, and 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 only about we have 90, 90, I think 96 USD, 97, 98, only about 10. I saw they did have something about human robot interaction, so social robot in computer science. I'm not talking about the mechanical engineering or the automation engineering, those people. So that's why when I talk about social robot in Canada, in North America, even the US, I would mention about this is what we want to do about Rosie in the Jetson cartoon. We are not going to make the robotic arm help you to deliver Amazon parcel to your home, not like that. I always say this one. If you're from Asia, you should know this is a, when I was a kid. This is what, uh, when I was born in British Hong Kong. That's why we watched this Japanese robot, this one, when I was a kid. And this robot will help you to solve every problem you have. For example, you are late for the assignment, he can help you. <laughs> this is what I, I, my job, I need to have one. <laughs> that I can relax and, and have more fun when I was a kid, you know. Anyway, so, um. And as you may, as you know, uh, robot is not a new idea. Almost said five hundred years ago, the first one, but only for entertainment, and both to those royal family, right? In those old days, right in Europe. And you asked me the first time I saw a robot in front of me live, <laughs> and I think that back to nineteen eighty five when I was a kid, um, my parents brought me to Japan to Tsukuba Expo eighty five. You think about interesting thing is that's 80, 1985. I mean, some, before some of you were born, right? Some of you were so young. And 85, those days, this is, I believe this is Parasonic. They show a demonstrate robot can commission to play piano. And then that is some robot, I forget about which company, sing and dance. But today look back, the pepper, right? The one is dying. That's what I told everyone in the, in the National Republic, the pepper is dying. 
October you see, I'll tell you we we'll die very soon. This guy, you see about half the, the, the lower part of the body is same as this on the design. So that's why you see why people say Japan is a robot, robot kingdom. That was far away ago, like 1985, right? Almost like how many years ago? 40 years ago. They always have all these ideas making robots. But again, Pepper is from France, right? So you know, Paris, not from Japan. Even the software robotic. How about in Toronto? Yeah, Toronto, um, before the pandemic, there was a news about a city hospital in Toronto downtown, and they, they adopt Pepper uh, as a big toys to comfort, to, to play with the kids in the hospital. And of course, behind it, a lot of fear. Say, you know what? Some kids, they don't want to talk to people. They will have some different issues, right? I mean, like autism, for example. And then somehow they find a robot can, they can accept. I mean, this is what has been done a lot in Japan. Not, not a new idea, to be honest. I don't think it's a new idea. And if you ask a Canadian, okay, a Canadian, not American, this is what today I, 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 I talked to Uber, and then they say, oh, you know what? I, I will be very careful to talk to Canadian. Um, don't, 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 don't. Ask them whether they're American or not, they're very outside if they think they're American. <laughs> I said, yes, some of them are very mean about the identity, you know. Anyway, so this is what the uh, the, the Waterloo, uh, the largest group, uh, social robot group in Waterloo, Waterloo universities. What they found out is the Canadian, if before the pandemic, you ask them about social robots. And so, of course, I think half of them are okay. I mean, for young people, like, like I, I say Google generation, definitely are okay. But however, if you ask them, See the people, they feel, oh, you know what? No, no good. This guy will was, 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 was steal my job, <laughs> would destroy human kind one day, like Terminator, something okay, like that. Like. But what, what they found out is through the pandemic, Canadian has changed the perception, perception about social robot. You know, oh, yeah, maybe we did something like this in the future and help us doing something. Of course, still far away, <laughs> not, 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 not like the Star Wars, not for that, that level. And you see, you, you, you read the news in the past three, few, few years at home, right? Like here, online, online, right? You know, in the US, they're using a robotic dog, this one called Joy for, Joy's for Open Company, and like 120 US dollar, not expensive, 100 US dollar. And for the elderly person in the aging houses, because their kids, I mean, the, the family could not visit them during the pandemic. So to, to cover the companionship. And in Singapore, they use the foster robotic spot to patrol the area and remind people to, um, to keep social distancing. As you know, Singapore is very mean, right? The government says, oh, you know, don't do this, all the rules like this, right? So they send a robot. And Amazon. Amazon, you, you guys know the Echo, right? I'm Alexa. Amazon launched a robot before Christmas. Not launched, really. They are selected user who could buy this robot and test it at home. And before last Christmas, it's called Astro. This actual, actual inside is an Alexa. But the bad thing is, this actual, if you can see the YouTube video, that's a pole can pull, pull up and down, the 360 degree, what is that? Camera. And that's why we scare people. And the other thing is, how much this actual cost they target Amazon? 1,500 US dollar. Cheaper than your iPhone. So, what we have done, as I said, we are new. Uh, in the past like six years, six, seven years, we, we, we use a we adopt a robot called Sambo from Asus company in Taiwan, the one you know that they bring manufacturing computer. And this robot was a good thing. Number one, cheap. <laughs> Number two, you see the face is a tablet. So actually the face is, is inside is an Android OS. It's a tablet, just like just like Android OS. You can install Android app on it. Number three, of course, as you know, the robot inside. Is running the ROS system, ROS. And also, the good thing is, this guy looks like a little kid, like BBA or R2D2. So, what we find out is that we test this guy different, we apply different scenarios, even though at the airport, for example. I mean, not the international airport in Toronto, it's a local airport, <laughs> a small one. We test about there and we let, let, let him, let her to be the customer services desk, for example. And so far we found everyone loved her or him, depends on how you see it. <laughs> it's gender, okay? It's hard to say he or he, him or her. her. And everyone, everyone loved her, everyone loved her. Because why? Because it looks like a boy like this tall. It's not like this, okay? Terminator. And then you look at him, oh, hi, good boy like this, okay, example. Okay, everyone loved, everyone loved him. 
And even though this picture is, we test a, we did a project before the pandemic, we put this sample into a family in Toronto, a sick kid's home. This is guy, this guy, he got brain cancer, this kid, this boy. And then this little video will show you about the news, how we put our work. A Toronto organization is trying out robots as companions for children who could use a friend. A pilot project is starting to bring robots into the homes of ill children who can't go to school. Lorena Renikop explains how it works. Hello, my friend. My name is Zimbo. This little robot and others like it will go out to families like this one. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ethan. This is the first time seven-year-old Ethan Hayes and his big sister Chloe are meeting Zembo. I love cookies. Do you like cookies too? Yes. Their little friend also tests their math skills. Ethan and Chloe don't always agree on the answer. One, two, one, two. We will add one more day. Ethan was diagnosed with brain cancer a year ago been a tough time. Five surgeries, radiation treatments in the U.S., chemotherapy at sick kids. Plus, he couldn't go to school. He just is a warrior and he got through the year, so we're happy that he's back at school last week and uh, it's exciting about this robot and the opportunities for other kids in the same situation. The charity Chi Lifeline Canada oh, already has services for families you know, going through serious robot. illness. We saw those, uh, robots those here. could fill an extra need. Perhaps help a child who might be home from school for a long time, uh, might not be able to see his friends or family because of because of isolation. Hopefully, help him with his homework and just be around, tell him stories, play games, dance. Oh, you see, thank you, girl. Well, he's a fan of the dancing, and you never know what a robot might say next. Where's it? Where's it? Where's that? Where's it? Come on. So that's why I don't know how far, how close. He seems to get the thumbs up from the whole family. I just stop here. So technically, um, um, uh, we, 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 we use a lot of uh, machine learning models, computer vision, and why we put some color stick on the ground and show the color, because we find out that we use the speed recognition somehow, the background is it's not that noisy to be honest, but still have some problem. So better show, show the robot the answer in color. And it's much easier to work with that. So besides this, we also um, brought the robot to other culture and see what the difference is. What, the, what, what okay, it's, now it's okay, it still looks nice in North America, okay? Not everyone loves, loves Sambo. But how about if we move to like in the Middle East? So what happened is we moved to Middle East and uh, these are some stories here. Uh, my, my students were testing on the campus uh, over there in Dubai and also Abu Dhabi. And what happened is we work with Sai University and we, we, we create an application for this robot. So technically, very simple application, just like many companies are doing that as well. They want the robot to remind the patient to take pills, medicine, all right? Like my father, he always forget. So that's, like, that's a good application for the father, I would say. And just carry a cheap plastic dispensing box. <laughs> okay, carry just a cheap one. And then, and then, okay, and then, and then you say, okay, road sample. Okay, find my uh, uh, find my father at five o'clock today. We want him to take to take pills. That is for example. And we will go to navigate. But what we learn from this project is not about these technical things. I mean, definitely not, 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 not that easy, but we, but we can still do it just, just like we spend effort and, and resources. Um, but the thing is about you have to understand the entire culture behind it. Because now you put in a Arabian family, it's an Islamic culture, it's Muslim. And then somehow what happened is the app is easy. Just be one is like this, very easy. I mean, just depending on how good you put the, interf the interfaces. Second thing, navigation. I don't think it's also difficult to be honest. Navigation, but the most exciting is how Zimbo is about to start the visioning. Please ensure that there are no obstacles so, in front of it. For example, very simple, one simple rule. A lot of rules behind it. See, I put the whole photo behind it. I don't explain it. Okay? When the time comes, you can look for them. But some of them are praying. Of course, you may know. There's a Canada. But some of them have some place to breathe. Patrick, it's time to take your medicine. Also, you have you may go to see these people when they're praying from a different angle. How could you know the Oh, no. you are over there. How I could see now. Moment. That's why we spend all time doing the deep learning here. Time out. So now zero activity living and the, the posture and say, Oh no, they're not praying. And check it out. Please ensure that there are no obstacles in front of So this is what you, you see, it's not like, okay, you know, I always say this to my students, it's like, like if you now you buy a social robot from the market, like a few thousand or a 10, like, like pepper, 30,000 US dollar, 
and, and something like that. And I always tell students that the, all the robots, no matter where they are from, they're from Asia, from Europe, or from, 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 from America, okay? They're all American. They speak American English. <laughs> and they, they, they behave like American. So, but, however, if you're in any culture, you have to pay attention, okay? And as I said, the robot, the sample is, is people love, love sample. Why? I think it's like in Kennedy Valley. Okay, I can explain that. The sample is something like right here upward. It looks cute, like boy or girl, like LTT2, like, like, like DBA. Like that's why people love the sample. But however, the very theory is you drop right here, right? If the robot is too real, right? And then your future, you go up there because you don't care. In the future, like the Netflix movie, we can no longer differentiate robot and human. That's okay. <laughs> this is what the theory is, but what's the more? Almost like 35, 36 years ago, you found this theory. That's why your kids like any bear. The same thing for the toys. Any any robot like here? Yeah, of course. Like this one. This one from my friend uh, in the uh, uh, TU uh, Darmstadt in Germany. That was me. The experiment. And what, what happened is she, she, she just uh, carry one of her team members to Japan and find a company and crawl one to one and spend almost like half a million US dollars. I could not believe that. I think she was too rich, okay? <laughs> and, 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 and then what happened? This one is, you see, what she did is, she did a study about like, this is a pretended a lab, and one man put some curtains, look like a wall, a straight wall, and then put a camera behind you, his camera, and like a hotel reception. And then she, 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 she paid the subjects, came to the lab, and checked with the robot, and the robot can program by C plus plus. I remember, and the robot also the, the mechanics their air push. That's why we move like this. You cannot hear any voice. Oh, it, 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 not like that. This very smooth. <laughs> you shake hand, you feel warm <laughs> on the hands. Okay. And but however, she cannot walk. This is the like little stadium move her like this one. Um, that was me. Okay, and she did not pay me. I just did that free for her. <laughs> I should I should send her a bill and after that. It's very like two hours talking with a, 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 a zombie, you no, know, like that. And but oh, I forgot to tell you different. This one, you see, she looks like a zombie. Why? When you unplug the power, comes just like this, <laughs> like a zombie. And uh, and, and, and also, and also, uh, when, I, when I teach a course about social robot to our business school students, like MIS, IS student, MIS student, tech management student, I always talk about the things you, when you think about a robot. Application with social robot. Think about the distance between the robot and the, and, the, and the human. How far, how close? It's totally by culture consideration, right? I'm pretty sure I'll show you an example. In Brazil, people even kiss robots. <laughs> In Germany, okay, come on, I'm distant, okay? Don't, don't get, get too close with me, okay? It's only by culture. And then, one example, I, I found this example before the pandemic when I tried to see a product airport. I saw they put a the pepper here, I put two white circles on the ground. And what happened is this one is they want to show you a comfort zone. Let's say if you don't want to touch the robot, you don't want to touch you, step out. You want to, you want to, to observe and see what's happening. But if you want to touch you and touch the robot, you step in. So this is what something to consider. And beyond this, about the emotional expression. In, this is not a new, new topic in AI for almost like half century, emotional expression, right? For AI in AI area. And then for the facial expression, of course, show the emotional expression, right? But also for the your body language, right? And how you like this thing. And also your voice, the intonation, right? Everything is complicated, how you express emotion. And also one thing is by color. By color as well. But, but the color is, again, Differentiate by culture. For example, I remember when I showed the sample, uh, you know, the sample just like your Wi-Fi router at home. When it's connected to the internet, it's good, your Wi-Fi router, it will show the blue color on the LED light, right? And then and then it's okay, but if something wrong, it's more red color, right? But in the Middle East, they told me that we better to show green color, it's okay, they can understand better. You know, but I, again, I think the young generation they have no problem. But for the, I mean for the Senior people they still have this kind of issue. Um, okay, so another project we did before the pandemic is we want we, we got a project from the government, uh, from the Privacy Commissioner of Canada, and we wanted to study about whether the Canadian elderly person they 
accept robot or not? Very simple research question. And be, be based on that, I brought the project to Brazil and collect a set of data and compare and what, what the differences. Of course, I will not go to the US because it's very similar, so I'll go to another extreme, <laughs> another far end <laughs> to the south. And of course, in the experiment, as you know, most of these are experiments. It's, we call the, 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 the whistle of, of AI. It's fake AI, scripted, right? When I demonstrate to the other person, hi, Campbell can help you to do this and that, all scripted. Just like you, you watch YouTube Sophia with Will Smith. They're all scripted, fake. Don't trust a conversation like that, like human. No, 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 all scripted. And we, we, we conduct a series of experiments in different Asian houses in Ontario. So, but I tell you the first one only, the two long term report here, you can download from here all the reports from the governmental website. And I work with my colleagues, uh, Dr. Andrew Slam and Dr. Isabel Peterson and the Faculty of Social Science and Humanities on my campus, because I think this time is beyond technical issues. It's more that we touch human. That's why I say well, I need help from other people. They, they don't, don't consider they do human more than I do. And then we went to the first experiment in Ontario, the Asian house. We met with 11, 11 people. And the person, there are two male, nine female, still asked me why nine female, two female. Is that what, what you request or something special design for your setting for your experiment? No, no, no. Female oh, usually live longer than male. <laughs> That's the reason you have more female than male in the Asian house. When we went there, we found all of them, they have their smartphone. They are playing online game, Amazon or CA. They know technology, okay, everyone. And when we show them all the sequence of demonstration, and then ask them, okay, what do you think? Like Western European, they first thing they, they raise up is this poverty. And, and what they, they worry about that. I think this is what they learn lesson from many websites. Right, so pop we have some Google address. <laughs> they hate that. I think they hate that. That's why they fight for privacy. But however, however, I moved to Brazil, Sao Paulo. Similar, but something changed. You know, that was before Christmas. We just them like with Christmas tree, <laughs> and then we 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 play with them, the other person, and then and then like this, and then what happened? Yes. We work with two group of uh, senior people, eight people like almost 20, 20 people. We spend almost like uh, the whole day with them. And none of those sub Brazilian uh, elderly person, none of those people mentioned about privacy concerns. None of them. What did they do is when they saw the robot, everyone just hopped the robot, kissed the robot, selfie and Post the picture five seconds to Instagram. It's supposed to fit now. Okay. The male was like, okay, what is this? A big distance, but no, no, no distance, zero distance, okay. No, 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 so distance. But one thing interesting to me is what they mentioned about this point. Companion robots cannot replace a companion human. This one very interesting. I think I believe uh, I believe it's part of the reason is because why they mentioned this point is they it's according to the cultural background. They are still very Catholic uh, intensive society. So they still, you know, robot, robot, not human. I don't replace my husband or my wife, something like that, you know? Um, this is what, oh, this is what paper I'm going to present, uh, but in Portuguese and uh, with the first paper. And then somehow, this is exactly the same result when we did another experiment, as I, as I told you, before robot, I worked on Barbie. Hello Barbie, say about Hello Barbie, this story from Mattel. About the research, let's say I gave a talk about take about Barbie, almost like one hour. I can tell you Barbie story one hour. Okay, Barbie story. In Mattel, what happened? And who invented Barbie? Who created Barbie? It is like, but today I'm talking about that. We found that they were Brazil and Argentina. There are two countries very close by, right? But however, one speaks Portuguese, one speaks Spanish. Even like that, the result is totally different. The Brazilian, again, they don't care about privacy. They care about more about the price and the functionality of the dollar. So, but you need to care about privacy first. And there's a fear behind to, to explain it in marketing. It's about the society structure. And I, I don't have time to talk about this, but this is exactly the, very much the, the same result we did before, uh, not like back to 2018, a few years before the, the social robot. Okay, so, so far, I sounds very positive about Sambo, about this human robot, about all the experiment, okay? Um, but I have to remind you one thing is all these are under controlled environment. 
my I want to experiment. But I talked to my student during the pandemic online. I said, no, no, something wrong. Too smooth. <laughs> too good to be too good to be good to, to be real. I think it's something wrong with our research. Okay. I say is what I found out is when people they saw Zambo, the first 10 minutes, they were so excited, everyone, everyone was so excited and keep taking pictures of selfie with Zambo. Once in a while, after 30 minutes, they found out it's a plastic dummy. Because when they saw a human robot, they recorded, oh, R2D2, BBN. We raised the exhibition part like this high. They thought whatever they, they talked to the robot, the robot could understand. But not like that, right? Even though not, 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 not Alexa, right? Not like that. Once they realize not like that, they're losing interest about the robot. And it's hard to keep the people doing the consequence uh, experiment. And then I said, okay, we have to change. Change to what? Still robots, but something we can don't raise their bar expectation very low. <laughs> and I said, what, what, what can we do? A dog, like K9. As you know, this K9, this K9 now, uh, this this uh this metal uh steel uh dummy is in, uh, in the lab in Alberta. Just put on the corner, over touch it. <laughs> they got it from the TV station. Know how to how to how to get it. <laughs> and and somehow I said okay, for dog is much for, for pet is much much easier because for example, I talk to my two dogs every day. I'm sure they, they have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> But they try to respond to me, right? And then when you're so here, I say, oh yeah, good boy, okay, good boy, good boy, okay. Uh, today I'll give you a, a, a good snack, okay? Okay, like this. And, and it's, it's our illusion, human illusion, right? And that's why I say we have to use animal, a uh, robotic animal or animal, animal, animal like robot rather than a human like robot for experiment. And then we can test more about companionship and other interactions than a human like robot. And then we look for a product. First thing, of course, everyone said, buy the Boston Robotics spot. How much? 150,000. I will buy, I'll buy, I'll buy, I'll buy, I'll buy a Porsche, you know, a spot car for myself, not buy that spot, you know. Number two, that spot is more like, it's, it's a, from US military, you know, or your design. That's why that spot actually, that spot has a hat, right? A tail. Oh, your body, small leg, why? Navigate the battlefield. If, if you see all your designs on the top is a machine gun. <laughs> The terminators, okay. Oh, money. Number two, how much? If anyone Sony eyeball, Sony has a small dog like this one. First of all, that one is too small like toys. Even though we found for example, they're big and small one, people like the big one, not like a small one, it's toy. Also, the Sony eyeball, the problem is they, they, they stop producing. So I said, no, we build by ourselves. I want a dog like my dog, the size of my dog, okay. This is what we built during the pandemic using wood at home, my student home, not my home, student home, okay? <laughs> and, 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 and four leg animal by wood. And I focusing on the tail because I foc we focus on the ex emotional expression. The emotion would engage a human use it into the robot. And also the body, the body movement, the body language, but this guy cannot navigate 100 miles can move it here, <laughs> like this one. This is a prototype. After we could go back to our lab day by day, again, we recycle the materials from, our, from the Amazon parcel. All the Amazon we collect in the past three years, a lot in my garage, okay? So we will buy by the, by the Amazon, sponsor the cardboard, okay? Like this one, build the body, build the head, put all the, all the Google kits inside the vision kit and voice kit, and recognize can see something, blah, blah, blah. And then this is what the workshop, and then eventually <coughs> one of my students, we got a cheap uh, a blanket in black color from Walmart. <coughs> she, she, could, she, could, she did that for, for, the, for this dog. And then now my wife called, her, his, his name is called Brando, okay? <laughs> my wife called Brando is a Scottish character. <laughs> so that's why, that's why, that's why, yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, this is a prototype. We, what we're going to do next step is we're going to, when we have a follow version, we will go to use a 3D print to build the, the solid model. And what, what, how, what do we do with this brand so far? We, we, we show it, we, we create a series of videos. 
to show our student online in the class and ask them, okay, I show different stories, different scenarios, different interaction with human, with other robots. And then we, you can see through inside or somebody you can see through inside. And then we, we continue like, like the whole semester, like we have 12 weeks in Canada, 13 weeks in one week study break. And then we ask through them video two, every two weeks. In the end, we ask them, we, every week we ask them, ask them some question. Yeah, we want to find whether the student will change the perception. When they think about this not a machine, this is a real thing, <laughs> okay? And one of the, one of the, one of the uh, video like this, Assistance, companionship, and entertainment. I heard that you are a robotic dog. Show me what you can do. Brando, sit. Good boy. I'll tell you a story. Okay, well, this is people sometimes eat with humans, with the fur, no fur, and then so people, everything. Actually, the last video I would like to make is about, I asked one of my students, what do you kick Brando on the floor? So then you kick Brando, very brutally. And then I said, I want to see whether still, when they watch the video, would they feel sad? And none of my students would like to do that. They all decline my request. And so maybe I, I, I will try to find somebody to do that for me. I, I don't want to do that by myself. I don't want to uh, destroy my image in front of my students, okay? And, and this is what, and also even beyond that is we, we also did some project about for accessibility. Uh, for example, we talked with the uh, Canada National Institute for the Blind People. And what they said is they, 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 they like, what we thought, they said, oh, this may be a, something we can apply to guide, uh, for the guide dog. And I, my first request is no, 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 impossible. No robotic, no, no machine can replace a real dog, or impossible. But somehow they, 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 they came back to me and said, no, 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 think about this. What happened now is if you were a person with visual impairment, you request a guide dog. It takes you about two, three years. You, you place the order today. After three years, they may say, oh, yeah, yours is ready, okay. Like this, okay. This is two, three years time frame, this window. What they say is, they think this kind of technology can put you these two, three years not to help the, the, the person with visual impairments navigate, is to train the person. Because maybe this person never has a pet at home. And this one, one part of my student, his team was doing this thesis, he graduated just, just in September. He's thinking about using, he used a machine learning model to recognize the hand sign language. So he says, stop, come, okay, come, 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 sit, like this, okay? And also we work with the uh, Japan, Shichuka USD. They made a discovery, like right? they just grew up with, 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 with uh, they, they, they told me there's something not the same as what you could buy in the market, but I couldn't understand. They're just trying, they're trying to engineer, I don't understand. Anyway, so actually what they're doing is they're doing this, using this, this technology with the Yamaha music um, to train people in piano. And then we got, we got they, they gave us, they, they were delayed like two steps. So like these students, she is, they are trying this thing like this. Yeah. And see whether compare with the computer vision and see which one is much more better. But I believe this one has an application. For those people they are with visual impairments, also they are deaf. Or deaf, they cannot, they cannot see. Or they really cannot see, they cannot speak. Mm -hmm. They got much easier for them to manage. Because for the computer vision, the bit still has no way to with the camera at least, right? This is what uh, I think. I think this is more, more, more or less the end. Uh, uh, but I'll tell you two more stories before I, I close my uh, presentation. So this robot, I don't even know this robot called Gmo. And this Gmo from MIT. And they spin up as a company, but they shut down like 2018, the company. Why they shut down? I think the reason is because computer scientists do not know how to do business. <laughs> that's the only one reason. <laughs> I think that's the reason. I think that's the reason. And anyway, we love Gmo. We love her very much because I think this is the good thing robot for most of the people in the world. Desktop robot. 
Like Alex Suck and Paul and Mushroom around the bar there and show you some emotion. I mean, this is what we need. That's it. I think this is what we need. We don't need somebody to walk. It looks so scary, right? And they fell. I think the reason is because they, they did not have a good business model. But recently, the entity, the entity Robotics Japan, they, they, they bought out all the IP. And, and I heard from my friend, Seagan Ferry, he said is they may restart this business in Texas coming future. So I, 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 we are looking for Chibo to come back. <laughs> for the death, you know. Then one day, one day when we found that people could not talk anything, we thought, oh, what's happened? We found it's coming shut down. <laughs> so it's like, but, and this one, we see, if you think about this one, this robot from US as well, from Colorado, take off the, the design. It looks like what? It looks like Star Wars character with a hermit, right? You see that my white card hermit, right? Only, only don't have a gun, laser gun, right? Only like this, right? But why? I tell you why, very simple reason. The creator of this design of this robot, he, he's a Ian, he's named Ian Foster. He, he's the guy who made the Spiro toys. You know, the ball can roll with the app, you can control the walk like that one. He's the guy who helped Lucasfilm prototyping BBA. That's why he, he went to like, explain like Star Wars style. And the time itself, he lent me his prototype. Well, here's the real prototype. What is the prototype before he launched the product on the market? And then and this is the robot, this is the prototype. And I remember one day we were playing the prototype. And then somehow he, he only had one request to me say, No, I, I, I can lend your prototype. Only one thing is you pay for the, uh, for the uh, uh, Korea Express company, the fee. And then what happened is, whatever you find out, you have to help me. I said, Okay, that's good. Good deal. Let's do that. One day, my student, he put on this guy on the, on the table, just on his table, and somehow he made some mistake. And my student has his first response, you know what? He's already, he's already, right? If I use drop the phone, okay? I will say, shit, oh, Jesus. Right? Oh, shit, you know, right? But he, he, what he said? Oh, sorry, are you okay? Yes. Okay, how, how, are you okay? Okay, okay. this one. So it's very interesting. He he thought he thought he said it's not my shit. You say life and then he said, are you okay? You okay? You okay? Are you fine? Okay, like this one. So that's why you see this area. I would say if if the if the robot without an emotional expression, it's just like a machine. So this is what that's why we are focusing on, and, and also we are doing other projects as well about a lot of machine learning models for the robots, for example, for the dog to to recognize object, to learn from objects. Right, this thing, and uh, I think that's all today. I want to share with you guys. If any question, please feel free to ask me. Thank you. <laughs> any questions? So, I have a question. There's a, there's a, somebody raised their hand. Yeah, I think she was clapping, but uh, oh, clapping. Okay, I see. <laughs> okay, yes, please, please. Yeah, uh, yeah, so uh, I thought you know, at the beginning, you, you found that you sort of uh, like a picture of a video like of a, a robot that uh, perceived as a child, uh, I think it was in an airport or something, giving information to people and people were like found it in the early beginning. Um, so I'm just thinking because, you know, the robot being a child, yeah, yeah I think it was this robot, yeah, that's this picture on the right over there. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, so mm -hmm. it's kind of like they people perceive the robot as a child uh, because it's, I don't know, the, it's maybe good. Yep. Then, yeah. Well, maybe. So, so in real life, you would not have a child doing this show. Because, you know, it's <laughs> but it's interesting. It's interesting that with, with the robots and so on, you can explore things that are not possible, like for human, right? Yeah. Like, um, are you aware of any work in this direction? And like, uh, uh, you know, present. You, you mentioned something about the dog that that people like, like a, a, a robot dog that people pet, and people are going to sit down or something. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one, okay, like, very, good, yeah. very good question. You're right. I think uh, if, if you put a kick here, a shoot a, a, a kick here, right? Working for a very airport authority, I think, I think somebody will be called 911, right? Um, but however, for this robot, what we what we learn from this project is, first of all, you see, we put the kids here, right? But the kids tell me with a badge. It's a staff of the airport authority. <laughs> That's why we have to do that, because otherwise, we, we, we don't know. Is that somebody's robot? It's a toys, right? The second thing is, you see here why we put a, a stamp poster like this, right? We find out that at the very beginning, we just put the robot there, even with a bash like, like, like this and then. 
And then some passenger when they passing by, they will be approaching. What is this? <laughs> okay, how could I, how could I, how could I, how could I interact with this, this, this little guy? So we put the poster board to break the eye. This is what I think we learn. And you talk about the dog portrait, but this is what the, uh, before I talk with uh, Mohammed about the uh, dog portrait I'm working on at, uh, with the uh, 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 Batei people. Uh, Batei people, it's about like, we, we because you know, in the, on the campus, we hear something. We did the same thing before. I remember my campus did the same thing before. Yes, before, before the exam period, the exam, like uh, the, the library, they, they bring in some dogs to the library and ask the should, should students when they pet the dog. If they, they are stressed or they have some, 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 some uh, stressed. We did that before in our campus once, but somehow after that, I think the risk management office, they stopped this activity. They think it's too dangerous. <laughs> anyway, but that's still going to get a day. And what we're doing with them is we think about, okay, why don't we replace that, or not replace, supplement that by VR first, or the Avatar 3D. Second thing, how about in HoloLens? What goes to HoloLens? We mix, mix the VR. Say some of them are fake, but some you can get one is real, you, you pay it, the real will probably talk, and then how do we feel the haptic interactions? So this is what we are doing with that. And also, actually, I, I, I will 3D scan my, my our Brando <laughs> into the VR environment for them <laughs> and test about, okay, what do you think about a dog like this, okay, like this? <laughs> with fur, without fur, or with fur, or without fur, in your 3D and virtual reality environment, okay? And, I, I, and this is what we also plan to do, and we would like to um, see the student and responses, and whether that may help or may help a bit in case they have no time or they could not go back to the campus and pet the dogs, something like that. So this is what uh, is ongoing, and uh, yeah. so. That's what uh, we are going to do as well about the uh, robotic dog. <laughs> yes. It's a step forward, I don't have them. So, how important on this track we have a friend who's trying to take over over? So, we get a lot of the things that we're talking about, or the two things before, the two things behind it. And is it be something of emancipation of social intelligence? Yeah. Um, that be an active player in the enterprise? Yeah. Or, uh, it could be a little more. Yeah. Uh, Alexa, the best. Yeah. So what's, what's the role of the robots there? Like? I, I think it's go back to the uncanny about that theory, about the uh, a, a physical appearance. And the physical entity exists in your, we call the, uh, the physical and social environment, like this picture. Not here. Sorry. Yeah. In this way, it's, it's something that is, is present. Something that is present. It's not like virtually, right? You know, you talk to the air and somebody answer you like a spirit, right? I mean, something like you at home or not like that. It's like something is tangible. You can feel. That's why your kids like teddy bear. That's why Google, they have they got a US patent back to 2015. They said they would go to do a Google Toys. If you go to search Google Toys pattern from from Google uh, pattern. And then you will find out that they say tell you they will do a like a um like the two um I think I have a slide here today. I say it's just like the two teddy bear and a bunny. Okay, let me see where's my cursor here. A bunny. It's got here. Let me see. Yeah, here. This is what I gave a talk yesterday, and I let me show one slide. Yeah, that's what it is. This is about Barbie's story. That's why I, I, I talk about Barbie for an hour yesterday. And a little one. Google Toys. <laughs> and what what scary thing is, they said, okay, I'm going to tell you a, 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 a teddy and a bunny, like this one, right? And this guy, but this guy, they can walk. They have mechanics at your home. And also this guy will help you watch. Manage your smartphone. Behind the back of the entire Google AI cloud. And that's why, People thought about tech is coming. <laughs> and that's why you saw all the, when, when people, they the, 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 the media, they found out that from Google many years ago, 2015, I remember. And then all the people I can see, right? They talk about like Chucky is coming. All these things, okay? And that's why I always said, if you check the Chucky child's play will be the latest version, the latest edition. You're talking about a, your future, Chucky is a, is, a, is a IoT, smart toys. And then why Chucky, Start killing people because 
he was learning from the family how to chop the tomatoes <laughs> and how to how to how to feel the emotion like the envy jealousy like this way and by 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 himself and that's how killing people it's not like evil right this is what the, the, the was like this but however um, this is what I believe is something like the the physical appearance the tangible Haptic feeling is very important. Then you just hear a voice from somewhere like a spirit in your home, you know, like that. And um, but anyway, anyway, this is what I talked with the in the workshop in the in the virtual report him. I say is why pepper is dying. I, I think sample is dying as well, not only pepper, if all the women are dying, to be honest, all them you see company they just start and finish in a few years and then done and gone like like Gbo, even like MIT, right? And why like that? Because I think is all these people, they are too rational. The behavior too rational. Like uh, it's something like it's, that's an algorithm, right? And if you spend time say with the, with that Alex or say with the example of Pepper, somehow you you can guess what's behind it from inside. But you think about human is not always rational. Sometimes we make some something irrational, right? Behavior or the emotion, right? So that's why I I, I talk with in that that's your robot here. I talk with people. I say you watch. I say no watch. We should build a surprise function for robots. Robots should somehow behave irrational and give humans some surprises. And they agree. You know why they bought a robot like a robot from Phoenix, from, from, from where? Very expensive, like a half body with a hollow lens and face and progression. Just in front of their special robot, they welcome people. They told me after a month, nobody talked to him anymore. They found he just repeat the same thing again, again, again. They okay, this, this dog is a, is a plastic dummy. So I said, okay, we should make a bad robot, like a cat. That's the way, that's why I think can be the future for, for this thing. And that's why we are, yeah, we are thinking about that. I'm not, I'm not thinking about along that, but, but, but before that, let's make a robot can do something, uh, make a good use case first. <laughs> and so far there's not much, not many, so many positive use cases can show to people about why we need social robot and more on the research, control the environment, whole type thing. All the all the company they just started today, they may shut down after a few years because they could not run business for business scientists. They good pieces of AI technology, but not no business model at all. And I think this is what coming up in the future and see. And I, I'm, I'm looking forward to see the Amazon, the Astro. Because that one will be good at least for teaching. Because behind the AWS. So we can standardize the platform and the language to program the robots, you know. So anyway, so this is what I feel. <laughs> I think, yeah, I believe. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Not me, my colleagues in the in the computer game program, they did that. They did that a small one just to, to, to like this <laughs> excited, not excited, right? Yeah, that, that's one. That's that one is that one is good, but still with toys. For me, it's still with toys. It's a small like toys, right? And you cannot really find any application or any scenario to apply for that. Besides for teaching purposes, STEM education is okay, it's good. But no, I cannot think any any, any application or anything can show to my grandfather, grandma, they can understand. I don't think so. It's only in the classroom and show people. But that one is interesting. If you think about yeah, we 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 my colleagues they did that, and we're still talking about learning how to po do programming. At least programming is a good thing, more interesting than you just co program and compile Java C, you know, and, and, then find, and then you find error message and then you start debug. Better than that, it's better than that. But still, I, I think it's um uh, it's not like to up to that scale, not the same same scale as what we expect. People expect us to do more, at least like this size, yeah. right? <laughs> Always like that. Yeah. Okay, any more questions? <laughs> Are there any questions from the online audience? Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.